So let's talk about the Dallas defense. Everybody's talking about cornerback Trayvon Diggs. I mean, he's getting comparisons to some of the greatest in the secondary ever. Yeah. And for good reason, six six picks in five games. Yep. I'm pretty sure quarterback Dak Prescott said that he's been wanting to line up at wide receiver during practice. Right. Which at the time, Dak kind of thought was laughable, but now it really doesn't seem all that laughable. Uh, he goes to Alabama as a receiver. Yeah. And gets told by Nick Saban, we're going to move you to defense. And he literally, he, he admitted, he said, I cried my eyes out. I was so insulted. I was so hurt. Right. But now he's like, thanks, coach. Thanks, coach Saban. You, you were right. Yeah. The beauty of it is that story demonstrates mm -hmm. that he has um, offensive skills that most defensive backs don't have. Right. In fact, most of the time, the guy that gets moved to defensive back gets moved there because as, as athletic as he is. Right. Can't catch the ball. Can't catch the ball. Right. Uh, that's not the case with Diggs. And they've talked about in practice for a while now how not only does he want to play offense, yeah. that would be very Dion like <laughs> if they could pull that off, but that in games and in practice, he attacks the ball as if he is on offense, as right. if he's, a, he's playing defense and he's in coverage, yeah. but he thinks that's my ball. Absolutely. Um, and there's a lot of guys that have that mindset. He also has that skill set. Yeah, he has the skill set, and obviously he's been bringing that to practice, which is, I think, helping Dak Prescott in a major way. Yeah. Uh, Des Bryant said on Twitter uh, after the game, he said, I, I was talking to Des about this. Des says, I don't throw over there very often <laughs> in practice. The NFL continues to th throw, though, at digs, right. and maybe they'll learn that that's not wise. Right. Um, in that game against the Giants, he had the one interception, but he got his hands on the ball, you know, out of bounds oh, over yeah. here and almost and three other times. Oh, yeah. Um, I, I don't know that it's the easiest solution to say, let's just throw elsewhere if Anthony Brown is <laughs> yeah, going to do his thing. Exactly. Anthony Brown, friend of the show, uh -huh. uh, and a guy who got his pick six in that game. Now, Anthony Brown's not on the same level of player that Trayvon Diggs is, and yeah. that's okay. Stephen Jones will tell you, you can't have 53 Pro Bowlers. <laughs> that's not how the salary cap works. Um, but you get pressure up front. You have the second level of guys playing like they did, Micah Parsons and the rest, and some guys in the secondary are going to benefit Anthony Brown in addition to Trayvon Diggs. Yeah. Something we saw in the Cowboys matchup with the New York Giants, of course, it was a divisional rivalry, D divisional matchup there. Things got a little chippy. Yeah. Now, what does that tell you about this Cowboys team? Um, I think that the, the best lesson there, and Dak said it to Terrence Steele, mm -hmm. uh, and this is, you probably did this when you were eight years old. This is as old as sports, and it's, it's, it is the right answer. When you're ahead, I'm ahead of you 44 to 22, mm -hmm. and you're giving me the business, Dak tried to explain to Terrence Steele, just point at the scoreboard. <laughs> you don't have to push. You don't have to shove. You don't have to talk. It's just, you just, it's just right there. Yeah. That, that's the evidence. Yeah. Um, the and, scoreboard's doing all your talking for you. Right. Uh, now, uh, I think the Giants are probably frustrated. For sure. And Going understandably so. Injuries in the middle of the game. Right. Um, well. They they did not catch any breaks, but they're also not as good as the Cowboys are. The roster's not as good. They were uh, in their locker room in the Big Apple over the course of last week, miffed at Troy Aikman, mm -hmm. the Fox analyst, because he said, in his opinion, the Giants aren't in the Cowboys class. But that's not an insult. Yeah. That's that's an analysis. Uh -huh. Doesn't make him right. Yeah. He is. It doesn't make him automatically right. But he's not trying to insult the Giants. He's yeah. trying to do his job. Sure. Uh, and then the game played out. Mm -hmm. And then we had evidence that Troy Aikman is good at his job because he's right. <laughs> okay, so the Dallas Cowboys taking on the New England Patriots this Sunday. Patriots just barely beating the Houston Texans this last Sunday. What do you see when you look at this matchup? Well, first of all, I see, you. I see a sneeze in my face. <laughs> uh, the Patriots aren't good, yes. but Bill Belichick is. Mm -hmm. And so if you watched uh, the Patriots work against the Texans, um, you really saw, unfortunately, David Culley's crew collapse there. Yeah. Uh, a special team collapse uh, in large part um, from the kicker to the punter to Coach Culley's decisions themselves. They contributed greatly. Is it fair to say that Bill Belichick outcoached David Culley? I think that was predictable, yeah. with all due respect, and I do think it's fair. Um, one of the things that happens when you're not good is something goofy occurs and then it sticks to to you as the thing. Right. The Cowboys are four and one. They've had some goofy things too, yeah. but they don't stick to them. Yeah. In, in the Texans game against the Patriots, they had their punter, uh, Cameron Johnston, on fourth and long. Yeah. He moves up to the line of scrimmage, like he's gonna, like we're gonna run a fake punt. Yeah. Okay. Well, that worked.